Okay, just a quick couple of notes about taking out the heaters. Uh, this bus is relatively long, 66 passengers, so it has four heaters. Uh, it has two in the back, uh, it has the driver's heater, and then it has the entrance heater there. There's water lines that go from one to another to connect everything. And I believe they just take water from the radiator and it gets circulated through these heaters. Uh, so the only thing you have to be aware of is the fact that the radiator is full of antifreeze. Now, not only is it a toxic, gooey mess, but the most important thing is dogs seem to love the taste and smell of antifreeze. There's something they put in it. I don't know what it is. And if they get into it, it is deadly. So you really got to make sure that when you drain these lines, you clean everything up really well if you have an animal. Uh, what we did is we found the lines that are running underneath the bus, cut those first, drain them out, uh, and then came in and started to cut the upper ones. You'll see as you look at the pictures of these heaters, I've got them standing on their end there. Uh, we've just taken pieces of one inch doweling, some wood, cut them, and we pushed that into the hoses uh, to stop them from leaking and uh, dripping before we get all that stuff to the dump. I think most buses take somewhere between maybe three and 10 gallons of uh, uh, antifreeze or coolant or whatever. Uh, so just so you know, be prepared with the appropriate vessels to pack it up, put, put a lid on it and dispose of it responsibly. It's one of those jobs that's a bit grueling because you have to be under the bus for some of it and you're dealing with potentially uh, toxic sludge spilling out, but it actually seems to go pretty quickly and it's pretty simple. The other thing is every time you're under your bus, uh, you wanna look around and get a sense of what's happening under there. You're gonna become intimate with all the different aspects of your bus to work under the differential, under one of the drive shafts, under the battery compartment, all of those kind of things. You wanna look around while you're down there and just look for any problematic areas in terms of rusted areas that you're gonna to have to repair, any other damage that may have happened before you got the bus. Because you wanna do those repairs while your bus is stationary and you're demoing it, not when you're a thousand miles away from all your tools and potentially power or that kind of thing. Fix it at home. That's it for today's update.